for the weighted moving average, ginagamit natin to when a de detectable trend or pattern is present, weights can be used to place more emphasis on the recent values. This practice makes forecasting technique more responsive to changes because more recent periods may be more heavily weighted. Choice of weights is somewhat arbitrary because there is no set formula to determine them. So our formula for the weighted moving average is equals to the summation of weight of the period N multiplied by the demand in the period N divided by the summation of weights. So to understand this weighted moving average, we have example number two. So Donis, Donis Garden Supply wants to forecast storage shed, shed sales by waiting the past three months with more weights given to the recent data to make them more significant. So yung weights na i-apply natin, yung weights na i-apply natin for the last month is equals to 3 and 2 months ago 2 for the 3 months ago 1 so yan yung bibigay nating weights for the uh, demand in the recent period so for this one so 3 months Sabi niya, diba? 3 month weighted moving average. So we have 1, 2, 3. So we will start on the month of April. So sabi niya, diba? Sabi niya kanina, yung last month, may weight ka na 3. Yung sec last 2 months ago, meron kang weight na 2. Then yung 3 months ago, meron kang weight na 1. So, here, gagawin natin is 13 multiplied by 3, yung weights, ba? Plus, um, 12 multiply yung weights ng 2 months ago, which is 2, plus 10 multiply yung weights no 3 months ago, divided by Ilan? So, total of 6. Kasi, ang i-add natin dito is yung weights. Yung total weights. Kaya siya naging 6. Is equals to 12.17. For the month of May, so yung weights, 3, times 16 plus 2 times 13 plus 1 times what? 12 divided by 6 is equals to 14.33 Next for the forecast of month for the month of June we have 3 multiplied by 19 plus 2 multiplied by 16 plus 1 multiplied by 13 divided by 6 is equals to 17. For the month of July naman, so we have 3, 2, 1. Okay po. So, 3 times 23 plus 2 times 19 plus 1 times 16 divided by 6 is equals to 20.5. So for the month of August, we have 3 times 26 
plus 2 times 23 plus yung weight na 1 times 19 divided by 6 is equals to 23.83. For the month of September, so we have 3 times 30 plus 2 times 26 plus 1 times 23 divided by 6 is equals to 27.5. Kukuha. For the month of October, so we have 1, 2, 3 months ago. So we have 3 times 28 plus 2 times 30 plus 1 times 26 divided by 6 equals to 28.33. Then for the month of November, we have 3 times 18 plus 2 times 28 plus 1 times 30 divided by 6 is equal to 23.33. So for the month of December, 3 times 16 plus 2 times 18 plus 1 times 28 divided by 6 is equals to 18.67. So, ang hinahanap natin is for the month of January, diba? Yung forecast natin. So, we have 3 times 14 plus 2 times 16 1 times 18 divided by 6 is equal to 15.33. So, yung forecast niya for January is 15.33. Okay po. So, ganun din. Kapag ang hinahanap is 4-month weighted moving average or 5-month weighted moving average. So, depending na yun dun sa weight na ibibigay ng problem, diba? Ganito lang yung gagawin natin. Okay po.